Hi, welcome for the poster number 626. We are Thursday, September 17, and here is a small image again. <coughs> I should uh, care more about the size of the image I download, but it is like that, so I uh, use the shortcut command T and I grow it um, around. 125% make it a little bit bigger and like this previous poster I made um, I will use the lasso magnetic lag magnetic uh, lasso magnetic lasso tool to cut out the rock of the picture and I will duplicate many parts together to create a composition and integrate the um, some types inside and outside the rock. So the principle is very simple. I select part of the image, command C, command V to paste it. I create a new layer, select the first uh, cutout, B on the keyboard, X to change the color. I want the black color. A and I paint inside the selection to create uh, a black shape. I go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Okay, 117 is maybe too high. It's a twice value. I use 56 pex pixel. <coughs> yeah, pixel. Uh, is the website I uh, downloaded the picture so if you are looking for a nice picture go there there are many other websites you can uh, have a little research on the internet and you will find free image royalty free image you can use for commercial project or for daily design design challenge and um, yeah, I um, I continue to select a shape inside the, the this rock, this little mountain there. Um, and uh, and yeah, that's really all I do. I copy and paste once uh, I finish the selection. And I repeat the process, the process of uh, selecting the shape and making the shadow for that uh, for that shape. It's pretty simple, but the result is effective and nice. Here I come again with the brush tool. I push one time inside to have a black shape filter Gaussian blur I wait for the render and uh, now I uh, link the the rock and the shadow together to move them easier yeah I don't have uh, to select and the rock and the shadow it's much better to link them like that if you just select the the rock the shadow will follow too and that's uh, pretty awesome because it's time savings and if you have to link the layers together just a few click and you will save some time later when you want to move the the layer
you don't have to select the two layers you have them so now i will go on speed art uh, mode and uh, i will continue that process Now that I cut out my elements, I can uh, compose uh, something with the with those elements. So uh, for that, uh, it's a central uh, composition. Uh, I just hit uh, Command T and turn my uh, element in a way or another to find uh, the best uh, the best way to present them and to intricate them into each other's and uh, yeah that's the that's the way i i do i duplicate them uh, this one is not linked or what um yeah and find the best uh, the better adjustment of each piece to to create something interesting and to put the letter the letters in a in a good way um, yeah for the that I need uh, some some pieces and now that I have them it's uh, it's easier to compose with that So I can put this one there, I can duplicate, I uh, also can uh, go to edit, transformation, transform and flip it uh, horizontally or vertically to avoid uh, the, um, the visual repetition, to don't make it too obvious the viewers eyes and uh, make them make each piece like if uh, they are unique because yeah everything I, I change change the, the the global look of the composition there <coughs> so, you know there is a strange things there I think it's fine to deal with that and now uh, it's it's interesting to to try uh, to try to to put them together and make it works as a as a creation 
and that's pretty nice to do it's uh, it requires you to to sync just a little bit but uh, what you use is uh, your uh, your sense of uh, aesthetism and that's a good uh, that's a good game for for your you to do as a designer or as a creative person and uh, that's uh, that's interesting that's really interesting i i enjoy the process i enjoy to do it and uh, it's pretty funny so uh, I think you you can like it too. Um, you should um, you should think and try different different placement. But what you should not do is go to overthink it. Um, there is a good part for improvisation. So don't break it by thinking too much at the first glance and uh, let your let your sense of creativity do do the stuff first and after when you when you will put uh, some elements or choose a color and uh, do something else they probably will be things you will see about your composition that you will can change and uh, then you can continue to to place them together but don't uh, overthink every pixel especially if it's uh, just a challenge or a design you do for yourself if it's for a customer yeah that's pretty different but uh, for now I think it's, it's totally fine to do whatever you want how you want it and just let your mind design something nice so I go in a speed art mode now see you later